All of us, no matter how secure we think our jobs are, no matter how much we love our careers, the most important thing is that we have to be on top of our careers. And one way to do that is to know who's hiring, what's hot, what's out. My very first jobs were working in network news. I worked at ABC News and NBC News, and I worked in corporate communication. I remember interrupting him saying, are you firing me? And he said, you have 30 minutes to leave the building. And I was in shock. His parting words to me were, Tori, it's a big world out there. I suggest you go explore it. I didn't want to see anybody. I didn't want to talk to anybody. And it was a really, really, really hard time for me. The best thing that I could have had for myself would be an event like this. Because there is nothing like the power of more than 5,000 women to snap you out of that funk real fast. Today is a day in which you get to discover the best of you and find a way to express the best of you. So I hope today is a, a really big day for you. I love it that if you, if you take people that are excellent at anything, despite their superficial differences, you can find some things in common. 73% of women say fix my weaknesses. Only 27% of women say leverage my strengths. So if you imagine, if you have go through your life characterizing yourself by who you aren't, focusing on who you aren't, focusing on the weaknesses that you don't possess, gosh, that's gonna be a different emotional, a different level of fulfillment in your life. If you want to, you can spend your entire life getting fixated on everything that is wrong with you, on what is wrong with you in terms of your own strengths, what is wrong with you in terms of your work, what is wrong with you in terms of your relationships, your entire life can get focused on that. You have to begin by deeply understanding what is working in your life. You've got to understand what your strengths are in life. You've got to begin there. This conference is going to talk about our role in society and our role in ensuring that this world is the world we want it to be. is the development and the support of women here in Texas that's going to make a difference to how this state grows. The most important thing that I can talk with you about today is time, possibilities, and responsibility. Each day, with, each, with any given second of time, we have a multitude of possibilities of what we can do. But you know, each second of time also carries a responsibility of what we choose to do, what we decide to do with our time. The biggest challenge we have is to be able to see other humans and see ourselves in them. We have to decide what we want to do with it. We have to judge what we want to leave to the future. Why are women less happy? We are bombarded with the message that we have to be better. most of the world, women are the poorest of the poor, so the idea of legacy seems irrelevant. Now that the planet is in danger and the world is a mess, women are being called to clean up. In the last five or six years, there is an increasing awareness that there is no hope for peace and no solution for the economic and environmental crisis of the world without the full engagement of women. Helping people or a noble cause can lift a heart much better than choosing among 40,000 shades of lipstick in Sephora. We are going to change the world, ladies. I promise you that. And we are going to enjoy every minute of the process. Since Beijing, it's been such an incredible journey, and I've got to experience so many amazing things and so many different opportunities. <laughs> People started writing me off and telling me at that at just 18 years old I was too old for the sport I was too old to compete and that I had no chance of making the Olympic team in 2008 it was really hard for me to hear such harsh words against me but with the help of my friends my family and most importantly my dad who was my coach and still is um, I was able to get through it and also be stronger and it made me the person that I am today. Not only did I achieve my dreams of making the Olympic team in 2008, but I went beyond them and won five medals and the all-around gold medal. 
It's been a long journey all the way through here, and one of the things that I have learned about myself and about life in general is to always believe in yourself, believe in your dreams, and most importantly, to be fearless in every choice that you make in your life. Until she thinks I'm as likely to be a hotel guest as a hotel domestic worker, we're not done yet. I feel like it really is a remarkable time to be who we are right now. I really wanted to tell the stories of Hispanic women in all kinds of media, not just the magazine. One thing that was really clear is that we got very few shots to be the heroine, and so I wanted to be part of that. There are so many remarkable things being done by women now that we would have never imagined 10 years ago. So I really tried to make it my mission to change the images, particularly the images of Hispanic women in this country, in the media. And I say that because the media matters. It changes what we think of ourselves, it changes what other people think of us. But I also know that we're really just getting started. What is it like if you're putting down the first stones in a cathedral, knowing that you're never going to live to see your work done? I feel like we are those women now. We are putting down the first stones in a cathedral.